You can adjust the white balance, but you may not really get the color that you really want. In this video, I'm going to do a review of Filmora 11. So let's dive straight in. I've been using Filmora for a few years, uh, since Filmora 9 up to today. And over that time, Filmora have improved tremendously. So in this video, I will give you pros and cons about Filmora to see whether this software is suitable for you. First, I want to say that there is no one perfect video editing software for everyone. It is just a matter of whether that software is perfect for you. Even if you have tried Filmora in the past, maybe what I share with you will open your perspective. Stay till the end, I'm sure that you will learn something new. I'm going to show you how to get a Filmora with a discount. As you advance in making videos, you start to want to add more things into your video. For example, B-rolls, uh, some other images to make your video more interesting. Filmora has made that very easy. In Pixels, you can download all kinds of media. This might be your skin on the screen right now as I have downloaded it from Pixels. All you have to do is just to click on Puppy and search for it and the videos will come up and you can download whichever ones that you want to use. And also Giphy for GIFs which is quite useful if you want to make your video interesting. When it comes to transition, Filmora has a ton of transitions. Right now, the recommended there are 600 over and if you total them up, I'm probably sure that you can easily cross a thousand. So this is just a sample of a transition. Another one, even professional level software don't usually have that many transitions that you can use. Having a variety of transitions can help keep your audience interest in your video. One of the things that I particularly like is the AI portrait which allows you to create a green screen effect without having a physical green screen. The other effect that I found useful is this beautify effect. If you want to look good on camera without putting on makeup, this effect is there for you to use. There are a ton of titles, over 2,000 titles. Whether you want to make a video that is full of effects and dancing text and all kinds, or you want to make something more subdued, you don't have to worry about thinking too hard to create those effects. One thing with Filmora is you can't say that you are short of things like transitions, effects and elements. You won't run short of options to use any of this. Some of the more advanced features like motion tracking is there. Filmora have done a great job. In the past, I found that the tracking wasn't as accurate, but lately it was so fast and uh, accurate. And you also have a great speed ramping feature as well. Now, if you create tutorials, there is a well-integrated screen capture tool. Head on over to your media, click on record, and you can hit record, and you can start recording. Once you finish recording, hit F9. The screen capture will be in your media bin ready for you to use and to edit. You don't even need to import anything in. Now, what are some of the cons of Filmora? There are two minor ones in my opinion. It has to do with the naming convention for some of these things like effects, elements and transitions. This nice transition that you see over here, this is named as YouTube a Trendy 3D Shape. Uh, however, if you are looking for say a similar thumbs up uh, element and you search for it, you do not always find what you are uh, expecting but you do not see this. Uh, this is also a thumbs up and so this one is in the basic uh, and it's titled as a web element uh, circle 03. I do wish that there is a more consistent naming convention when it comes to this item. The saving grace however is there is a favorites tab that you can favorite all your elements or effects so that you can get back to it easily. Next is in terms of things like arrows like this. So this is an animated arrow. Uh, however, uh, you can't change the color of this uh, arrow. Uh, you can change the white balance and make some adjustments. Uh, however, you might not get the color that you really want. I just uh, wish that I could say change this into a red arrow. Well, it's not such a big thing. I can easily get an arrow that moves. Filmora is easy to use. Basically, they are drag and drop, and you also find a lot of tutorials on YouTube. I also have created a course, so if you want to check out that course, dive deep into Filmora and some of the hidden corners and things that you may not know. To get Filmora with that discount, click on the link above. 
follow the instructions in that video. Check out what's on the screen right now for the next Filmora tip.